Paradise Fun and Games. This one's called Guess the Dots. All you've got to do is figure out what shape it will make if you connect the dots. Do you see it yet? I'll turn it to make it easier for you. Are you ready to guess? Let's see if you're right. <laughs> it's a star. This star looks kind of dull, don't you think? Why don't we fill in all the color? There! That's a lot better. Did you know that if you connect stars, they form shapes in the sky? Like these stars. If you connect them, they form what's called a constellation. Can you guess what this looks like? Wow! It's a swan! How cool! There are a lot of constellations in the sky. Ask your teacher about them. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you later for even more Paradise Fun and Games. Bye! Kitty's Clean Cuisine. Wait till you see what I'm making. <laughs> wow, this is work. It seems like it. What you making anyway? Well, it's gonna... I mean, I was... I guess I forgot. Oh! After you, Mimi. Now that was a lot of fun. Yep, but look. I'm completely filthy. Just look at me. My clothes, my hands. I am a big mud ball. Getting dirty when you're playing in the mud is half the fun. Now all this fun has made me hungry. Hey, Mom! Dinner ready yet? I'm starving! It's almost ready, dear. What is it? It really smells good. It's chicken curry. Kitty, what in goodness name happened? You look as though you've been rolling around in a big muddy bog. <laughs> Mimi and I were making mud castles in the backyard. Well, you better go get washed up for dinner. It's nearly ready. Mimi, dinner's ready! Tell Mimi to get washed up too. <laughs> there, all clean. Mimi, hurry up! Dinner's ready and it's chicken curry! <laughs> Well, it's about time. Come on. Let's get going. Mama made my favorite food in the whole wide world, and I just can't wait to eat it. But, Kitty, aren't you going to wash all that crud off of you? You look really dirty. No. I thought I'd do that after dinner. You're not really going down without washing, are you? Since I'm in a hurry to eat and I have to wash after dinner anyway, I thought I'd save time and do it all at once. That's disgusting. You might have germs or other stuff on your hands. It's not healthy to not wash up. Yeah, but I'm hungry, and that'll take too much time. Mom's gonna get mad if you don't wash up. Hmm, how do you know? I don't care what Mimi says. I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat now. Oh, boy, am I ever ready for some chicken curry. Uh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Kitty, didn't I tell you to wash up and get ready for dinner a few minutes ago? Um, yes, ma'am. And you didn't do it? Um, no, ma'am. And I suppose you have some explanation for why you've come to dinner wearing half the yard. Yeah, I do. I was trying to use my time wisely. That's why you didn't wash up? Well, I have to wash after dinner anyway, so I thought I'd do it all at once. Nope, sorry. What does she mean by that, exactly? She means you go wash up. Yeah, I kind of thought so. I think that maybe I should go wash up now. Excuse me, please. better. You can change your clothes after dinner. Okay. But what's the big deal, Mom? What do you mean, big deal? Washing up. Why is it so important? Because your hands pick up all kinds of germs and bacteria through the day. Are germs and bacteria bad things? Yes, they are. They can cause all sorts of things like head colds and stomach flu. And that stuff's all over my hands? That's right. And if you don't wash up, those germs could get on your food and make you sick. Mama wants you to wash up because she cares about you. I never realized how important it was to wash your hands. I'm washing before every meal from now on. That's great. Now let's have some of that chicken curry. It smells wonderful. Mmm, that smells good. Very 
go just like you like it. Looks wonderful. Thank you, dear. This one's for you, Mimi. Here you go, darling. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Kitty, I know it's your favorite, so I made plenty. So I hope you're good and hungry. I am. In fact, I'm so hungry, I want a whole plate full of chicken curry piled real high. Kitty, you know you can't eat that much. Here, why don't you start out with this? No, Mama, no, I'm really, really, really hungry. I don't want a little plate like Mimi. I want a big plate of curry, bigger than Papa's. I promise I'll eat every bit of it, please. I suppose if you're that hungry. Don't worry, there won't be a crumb left when I'm done. Here you go. Thanks, now let's dig in. That's great. Yeah. This is good, dear. Yeah, it's the best you've ever made. Oh, sweet. Thank you, dear. I think it's great, too. I'm glad you all like it. I could eat this every day. Me, too. The way Kitty is gobbling up that food, I guess she really was hungry. Must have been all that playing in the mud. Go, Kitty. it all, you know. But I have to finish. I promised, Mama. I'm just so full. But you'll get sick, dear. You shouldn't keep eating after you're full. It's very unhealthy. Yeah. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll finish it all. Mm. Kitty, I think you've more than satisfied your promise and should consider it fulfilled. What do you mean by that? Exactly. It means you're off the hook and don't have to eat anymore. Good. I may never eat again. You know, Kitty, sometimes when someone's really hungry, they think they're able to eat a lot more food than they really can. Your grandma used to say, don't let your eyes get bigger than your stomach, which meant that you shouldn't take too much food just in case you can't finish. Understand? Next time, just take a small portion and then ask for seconds if you're still hungry. That way you don't end up wasting any food if you get full. Besides, your mom knows how much you usually eat, so you can trust she'll always give you enough to keep you healthy. Okay. You see, I knew you wouldn't be able to eat nearly as much food as you asked for, but I had to let you learn that lesson for yourself. I did, and I'm never going to forget it. Me too. Can I have seconds, please? Of course you can. Here you are, darling. Thank you, Mama. I wish I'd started with less. So you could leave room for seconds? No. I'm just so full now, I've got no room for dessert. No dessert for you, Kitty? That's a first. I did make some tasty apple tarts this morning and put them out to cool, but they just up and disappeared. So I'm afraid there's just no dessert tonight. Mm -hmm. Kitty and I saw the tarts on the windowsill this afternoon before we went out to play in the mud. We thought they were for us to snack on, so we ate them. We didn't know they were for dessert. Besides, it was Kitty's idea, and she ate three of them. <laughs> Guess you got dessert after all. <laughs> <laughs> For more Paradise Fun and Games. Okay, time to play Guess the Shape. Why don't you guess along with us at home? That's strange. Uh, hey, that looks like a giant earthworm. I think it's a tail. Now it looks like some kind of machine. And I think it's eating something. Now what could that be? Hey, I know, it's a dinosaur! That's not it. Try again. Wow, that's pretty noisy. I bet it's an instrument. Then again, I could be wrong. Hey, that fan is sucking up the dust. Now I'm really confused. Okay, it's a machine that sucks up dust and makes a lot of noise. Hey, would you look at that? Maybe it's a car. No, cars don't suck up dust when they run. Hey, I think I've got it. Have you figured it out? Time to guess. Here comes the answer. It's a vacuum, vacuum cleaner. cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> 
now for more Paradise Fun Games. This one's called Animals, Animals. There are a lot of animals hiding in the cube. Can you guess which one of them will come out? Hey, look at that. This animal must have a lot of fur. Can you guess what it is yet? Hey, that looks like some sort of tail, but I still don't know what it is. With legs like that, he should be able to run fast and jump real high. We're almost there. Have you figured out what it is yet? <laughs> That's right! It's none other than the king of the jungle himself. It's the lion. Bye!